All right, so as you guys can see, it's a beautiful day. We're finally starting to get some really nice weather out here in Michigan. So, um, but really to start off, to be honest with you guys, yesterday was Haley's birthday. So I had a pretty bad cheat day. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm headed to go get some facet cardio in, and then we're going to start off this video with hopefully a new low way. And I've been feeling pretty low. But with having, you know, like a cheat meal and whatnot yesterday, we'll see. We'll see when I get back from the cardio. So stay tuned. All right, so as you guys just saw, just got back from cardio, but as you guys just saw, even after the cheat meal, we're still hitting new low weigh-ins. So I'm down about a pound, a pound and a half from the last weigh, I think it's more like a pound, from the last weigh-in, so it's perfect. That's what we're looking for. What I'm gonna do now is eat my breakfast and pretty much go on with my day. I'm gonna train a little later, we're gonna hit back later, so stay tuned for that, guys, and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to go and pick up Haley right now. But real quick, yesterday, I was able to get some new pump. It actually just came in from the mail yesterday uh, by Man Sports. I've seen the online coach talk about it quite a bit, but they're discontinuing it. So I was able to get two of them for like 30 bucks, which is dirt cheap. So what I'm going to do, I already got it in the shaker, but one scoop of new pump. And since it already has 750 milligrams or 0.75 of a gram of agmatine in there, I'm actually going to add a half a scoop because usually I do 1.5 grams of Agmatine pre-workout. But I'm going to add a half a scoop of Agmatine in that. I'm going to try this out and get you guys a taste test. So let me shake this up really quick. The flavor that I got was Pineapple Express, which really I like anything pineapple. So I'm expecting this to be real good. But let's see. Wow. Wow, that's real good. Pretty much the best way I can put it is it tastes exactly like uh, like pineapple pop. Or people that aren't in Michigan probably don't know what I'm talking about, but like pineapple flavored Fago. Oh my God. Tastes exactly like that without all the fizziness. But going to sit this as my pre-workout. I think I also got a sample of Game Day by Man Sports too. I think I may try this out, even though I'm trying to wean off the caffeine. This whole pack does have 300 milligrams of caffeine, so it's quite a bit, but I think I might try it out. So if I do try it out, I'll let you guys know what I think about this. Because this you can still get. They're not discontinuing game day. Just a new pump, discontinued. Stay tuned for the workout. We're getting right into a back workout right now. All right, guys, so in efforts of keeping these videos a little shorter, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have the workout either popping up on the screen or down in the description or both. So feel free to follow along. But for this video, I'm actually going to go over what exactly I've done over the past, what was it, about two months uh, during this cut that I feel like you guys can probably benefit from. So the first thing that I always notice people when they get ready to start a cut, they always get into that mindset that they have to start training as if they're getting ready to cut. Meaning that they stop with their heavy lifting and focus more just on reps. Now, what I personally did, I looked at it as if I were still building. So what I mean by that is you saw in the beginning, I would start off every single one of my workouts, whether it be chest, back, or legs. Chest day, I would start off with heavy benches. I would do my three to four sets of three to five. On back day, I would start off with deadlifts, same thing, three to four sets of three to five. And then legs, squats, three to four sets of three to five. And that was with going anywhere from 80 to 100% of the weight, trying to get new PRs, maxing out, and whatnot. And then after I would do those heavy sets or those heavy compound movements, I would finish off my workout still doing the high volume, almost like your bodybuilding movements, you know, like your accessory work. That's one thing that I really feel like people could benefit from because frequently you see people just focus more on the reps. 
Also what I did too was start off my calories fairly high. Now, maintenance level, I did the, the calculations. I look around 2,900 to 3,000 calories for maintenance. So what I did was started off my calories at about 2,800. I kept my carbs pretty high, which is something that you don't see a lot of people do. I kept my carbs in the beginning, it was there around 300 grams of carbs per day. And I kept the, the protein around body weight level. Then I dropped the protein down to actually 190 because that's what we're trying to get down to. Kept my carbs even higher and that helped me with energy throughout the workout and potentially build a little more mass while cutting. Those are really like the two main things that I would really focus on. And then of course, gradually drop down your, your macros, your calories. Uh, every about two to three weeks, I would drop my calories down a little bit, drop the carbs down a little bit. And now I'm at about 2,100 calories. So fairly low, started off at 28, now down to 21. But that's one of the main things that I really feel people mess up on. They drop the calories down too low and change their training too much when they first start off. So. That's going to be it for the commentary for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Try the workout out. Like I said, I'll have it either on the screen or in the description. Very good workout. Very high volume. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.